Hi, I am Hudson Meeks and I am a developer in the customer engineering team at BMC Software. This video is the first video of two covering how to tune the patrol agent for remote data collection. The configuration discussed in this video applies to patrol agents that are dedicated to collecting large amounts of data from multiple nodes that are managed remotely. You will need a patrol console and patrol configuration manager to complete the configuration. The primary use cases include monitoring with the remote Windows knowledge module, the remote Unix knowledge module, and the vCenter knowledge module. Out of the box, a patrol agent is configured to automatically scale back data collection when its work rate exceeds a certain threshold. This is to ensure the agent does not consume excessive resources when other processes, such as application code and database applications on the managed node, need those resources. These out-of-the-box settings are proper configuration for most implementations where the agent is installed locally on the managed node. However, this does not make sense for nodes that are dedicated to patrol agents used for remote data collection. If an agent doing remote data collection is left with the default settings, the agent will most likely slip its data collection schedule and data points will be missed. There are two patrol agent settings that we need to adjust. The first is to disable the recovery action that is triggered when the patrol agent work rate goes into alarm. This recovery action resets the agent's run queue schedule and we do not want that to happen for agents that are dedicated to remote monitoring. The second setting is for the agent's run queue schedule itself and that is covered in the second video. Okay, let's take a look at the product and see how to disable the recovery action for the patrol agent work rate. Here in the patrol console, we have a managed node that is set up for remote monitoring. If we right click on the node name and go down to KM commands, then choose configure recovery actions, we'll see a number of different recovery actions regarding the agent that we can manipulate here. The one we care about is at the bottom of the list. It stands for patrol agent work rate executions per minute recovery action. If we click accept on that, you'll see there are two instances here. All we really care about is the top instance. There's only going to be one instance anyway because this only applies to the patrol agent. So we'll choose that one, click edit, and now you'll notice you have a number of different options here. The default setting is to run automatically. We want to set that to do not execute because we do not want the recovery action on the PA work rate executions per minute parameter to kick off and automatically reset the run queue schedule settings. So we'll go ahead and click accept on that. That is now set. We can close this screen now and close the next screen. And now that particular patrol agent is configured so that when the work rate executions per minute goes into alarm, the recovery action will not fire. If we wanted to apply this to multiple patrol agents, supposing we had multiple patrol agents in our environment that are set up for remote monitoring, we could do that through Patrol Configuration Manager here. I can right click on the Manage node, do a a configuration get and now I can go over under the PCM folder drill down into backup choose my manage node and take a look at the last backup the easiest way to find the settings is to simply right click on this rule set and choose search and we can search for work rate within the variable string and now we see the settings here. These top three settings are the ones that I just applied. So we could save this as a rule set and then apply it to the appropriate patrol agents that are doing remote monitoring. That concludes this video. Thank you for watching the video and thank you for using BMC products.